Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Earthbound in the last episode. We made it to the town of Wanette and started exploring it on our grand adventure to save the world. And in this episode, we are going to go ahead and make an attempt to stop the local gang, the Sharks. Now I went ahead and did a bit of off-screen training as you could see, Ness is now level 7, very powerful indeed, and we also have a lot of new uh, weapons and items at our disposal, which is going to be very useful, as well as a lot of goodies. As you can see, I got a buttload of burgers, where did I get those exactly? Uh, not from the burger joint itself, which I actually didn't show off, but there was a burger joint right next to the drugstore. I actually got them from fighting these enemies, these are the sharks, the local ruffian gang. Uh, these guys are just regular NPCs, but these ones can run around and attack you right up front. And we're gonna have to fight two of them right now. We got ourselves a Pogo Punk and a Skate Punk. I would recommend getting rid of the Pogo Punk first because it, he is a much more powerful attacker. The Skate Punk is the weakest of the Shark Trio. However, he can actually call for help, which summons more enemies. So, up uh, to your own preference of which one you want to get rid of first. I'm gonna try and get rid of the Pogo Punk. Skate Punk called for help. Uh, no one came. It'd be cool if we could see all three of them in just this first battle. Uh, let's see, go ahead and tag, we get rid of... Bleh. Jesus, alright then. Um, it must be off from all the burgers or something like that, I don't know. I got rid of the, uh, Pogapunk. Skate Punk, uh, shredded fiercely. And we do 32 damage and take him out in one shot. Very nice, we got 27 experience, and inside the present we got a hamburger, but we can't carry in more items, great. Uh, what do we want to throw away? Uh, bread roll is the weakest item right now, so I guess we'll throw away bread roll that we never used in exchange for the hamburger. Because basically a hamburger is a bread roll, but just with stuff on the inside. Uh, now that's taken care of, I kind of wanted to just show off the, uh, hamburger place now that I just thought about it. There's just so many things to, uh, go over. Like, we only went through, like, half of the town in the last episode, so that's why I sort of wanted to just cut it off. Because we already gone, like, 30 minutes and we just... Haven't seen so many things yet. Uh, here's the burger shop. You can just go ahead and buy a bunch of uh, burgers if you want. A lot of very good HP recovery items. However, you don't really want to because it is uh, it costs money. You can get them for free very easily. Seems I'm always here. I hope you don't mind. Pfft. I'm so much more relaxed here. They never ask me, would you like more fries with that shake? Uh, don't you think you get more value out of food for uh, for 14 bucks worth of burgers than 8 bucks worth of french fries? You'll feel better, more energetic if you eat better foods. You know, you'll recover more health if you eat more be expensive food. Yeah, right. Yeah, I get what you're saying. But yeah, in terms of like being comfortable in the restaurant because like uh, you're there all the time or whatever. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but like it's like a pet peeve of mine. Like if a restaurant a waiter remembers my order or something like that because I usually do order the same thing every time whenever I go to a restaurant and like on one hand like it's I guess some people would think it was nice that they remember you and here's the third shark enemy the yes man junior these guys are kind of the middle ground one they could be laughing hysterically one turn and doing absolutely nothing or they could be attacking and doing a lot of damage to you the next turn so uh, they're kind of an oddball one and they also sometimes do one damage it's sort of weird but whatever it's always just been like a weird pet peeve of mine whenever like restaurant uh, waiters remember my order from last time I was there. It was just really stinking weird because like, I don't know, I go to a restaurant so uh, people don't know what I'm ordering or what I'm eating. So I'm not like eating in a house or whatever. So it's just stinking annoying. I like, I want to be anonymous when I go there. I don't like that they remember me. It makes me feel like I did something wrong or whatever. But whatever. Probably just a me thing. Uh, get rid of those guys, and we have a pizza joint here. That's a lot more up my alley. Open soon. Mock pizza, one at branch. Uh, unfortunately, it's not open yet. Uh, these guys just seem to be standing around. How about we talk to them? Do you want to meet Frank? You don't want to meet. You won't. Wait. Bleh, what the fruit? You don't want Frank to beat you up, do you? And he fights you right away. All right then. So this is a Poke Punk that's sort of like an NPC because he will disappear after we beat him for the first time. Oh no! So I wanted to make sure I got this one on camera. Go ahead and attack him one more time, and there you go. Uh, let's see, we got more burgers? Yes, we did. We got another hamburger. Can't carry more stuff. You want to throw something away? Uh, sure. Uh, I don't know. I always just like having the variety of things, but just for the sake of being like actually intelligent, I'll get rid of the bag of fries, even though we never actually got to use them. Throw away. Throw away the fries and get the hamburger. Again, I really wish you could actually use a healing item uh, as you're throwing it away, but whatever. Let's go ahead and use one of these right now. Uh, okay, 39 HP. Very, very nice. Is that even like maxed out HP? Uh, no, it is not. We're at 75 already. So if you have only played like Pokemon games, you may be surprised at, like how high your HP could get in this game. It's actually really stinking crazy. 
Do you want to start a fight or what? Uh, looks like we're going to. Uh, he is a skate punk. All right, then. Let's see. Will he summon some more characters for us? No, he will not. And smash attack! All right, as if we actually needed one because they go down in one hit anyway. And all right, we're good to go. Now we are... Uh, oh, wait. Before we do that, we're going to want to examine this uh, trash can because... There's a can of fruit juice inside. Ness takes it. Uh, fruit juice... It... Help. Uh, does it heal PP? Uh, 6 HP. All right, so it's just like a cookie. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that real quick. Very minor item. We'll have one free inventory space for a possible hamburger. And in the game arcade, all right. You can actually see these machines actually do resemble uh, certain arcade games. Like you can, see, you can see Donkey Kong right here in the middle. It was you, you beat up my buddy, didn't you? You better just beat it. Just beat it. All right, whatever. All right then, so I'm pretty confident with my level right now. I always tend to have a trouble with this area, but I went ahead and did some training. I was gonna go to level eight or level 10, but I thought it would just be like way too powerful. Also, it would take way too much time. So I just sort of went with it. And the person, there was another hamburger. Get there, I made room for it. All right, you're gonna go over here now. What do you guys say? Uh-huh, uh-huh. You sound like a real uh, whiner to me. I thought I said winner for a second. I got excited. Don't get lippy or I'll kick your butt. Uh, but he's actually gonna fight us. All right, how sweet of him. Up here, we got a regular guy. Frank has an incredibly powerful weapon. If you get your hands on it, I bet you could stand against any enemy. Spit, spit, spit. Saliva, spit, spit. Do you want some gum? Get your own twit. <laughs> okay, then. When you buy an item that should be equipped, do, do you uh, bother to actually equip it? <laughs> I give a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rockin' dude. I obviously have total confidence in my own abilities. So, are you ready to get it? Get it on, Spanky? Come on, Spanky! All right, another skate punk, but he is a, a skate punk with dialogue, so I will show off his fight. All right, fight's over. <laughs> uh, did we get another burger? All right, cool. I don't have to abandon a burger. Uh, does he fight us? I can't remember. Tell you the truth, I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit with my super cool image. I guess I just have to accept this about myself. I'm gonna head down here now. Uh, do I risk losing a burger? Uh, I think I'll... Uh, risk it, because I don't know if he's actually going to give me one. And also, he's just not a tough enemy. Eh, we'll use one, why not? And hopefully, he will give us one in return. Hey, kid, do you want to become a member? Okay. Come back after you finish Earthbound. <laughs> Alright, then. Uh, what happens if I say no? No. Don't be such a snob. <laughs> if we say yes, he won't let us but if we say no, then he gets upset. Yes, man, Junior. I'm going to go ahead and fight him one more time. And I absolutely love this battle music. I could listen to this forever. It's like my favorite battle song in the entire game. Really stinking good. Like, I don't think this needs to be said. Earthbound soundtrack is stinking phenomenal. Uh, you gonna give us a burger? No, I wasted a burger. I lost the gamble. Oh, no. So we are, uh, one burger down, a couple HP down. Frank, the boss of the sharks, is beyond that door. If you think you're ready to face him, go on in there. But I don't think I am ready to face him, so I'm just gonna go and be a chicken real quick. And see if I could just get some free HP recovery around here somewhere. Uh, be right back. This guy dropped a hamburger and I went ahead and ate it. All right, so I'm still one burger short than how I was, but I'm at full HP, which I'd very much rather have. Now, it's time to have our first actual boss fight. Okay, Frankie boy. And hey, he actually does look like Frankie from One Piece. He's got the sunglasses, he's got the uh, pompadour. It's not a blue pompadour, but oh well, he can't have everything, I suppose. And he's got a robot next to him. I really didn't even make that connection either of like all the connections he has to Frankie from One Piece. But of course, I gotta incorporate One Piece into everything. I'm Frank. You are? Come on, can't you at least say your name? No, because I'm a silent protagonist. But it leads to a boss fight. Oh, I forgot about this song. This is my favorite battle song in the game. My God, I sing and love this song. So we gotta fight a gang leader, Frank. He's got to sing of knives already. Like sing of, uh harsh when he's up against a kid, but whatever. We are no ordinary kid as we will show him. Let's go ahead and use our regular bash. That's pretty much our best bet. He threw a knife, 20 HP of damage. Oh God. Uh, let's try and throw another one. He went out swinging, 9 HP. Uh, oh, we missed. That's not good. I'm gonna swing again. Alright, I'd rather have that than the knives. Oh, uh, what do we got? Branch the knife again. God darn it, we're gonna have to heal at some point. Branch attacks. Oh, he became tame. Alright then. You won! Now we get 50 experience points. Fail proof Frank can't be beaten. Puff, puff, puff. And this is Frankie Stein Mark II! 
Two boss fights one after another. Frankie Stein Mark II. This is a bit of an interesting enemy. He will always attack one turn, then recharge one turn. So you have like sort of a pattern if you want to like defend or heal and all that jazz. So I'm going to go ahead and I can't remember if he attacks right off the bat or defends right off the bat. Either way, I want to heal right now. I uh, generate a burst of steam, all right, so this was a good turn to heal? I don't know, whatever way you look at it. Uh, go ahead and bash him. Throw a punch. 16 damage, oh jeez. All right, go and do that damage. Bash him again. 27 damage. Generate a burst of steam. Uh, throw a punch. 13 damage. 24 damage. It's just like a waiting game. Uh, it just keeps on generating steam, so you just have to, like, get the pattern down and uh, make sure you keep track of your HP, and you should be good to go. All right, then. Frankie Steinmark 2 is defeated, and we have taken down the Shark Organization. This is my first defeat. Failproof Frank is now just a failure, Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step, that's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the Touring Entertainer's Shack. Perkle, the mayor of Wanette, has a key to the shack. Ness, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Alright then, we have taken down the sharks. Now, a very useful tip about that is that Frank is now a friend of ours. If we go back and talk to him, you look much stronger. Would you like a rest? He will go ahead and heal you for free. So that is why I recommend you do not use the hotel. Ness, you're now stronger than I. Your adventure's just beginning. So you go ahead and get free heals right there. You don't have to walk all the way back to uh, your mom's house, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, this guy just talks to you from now on. It's really weird. But yeah, he is very useful to have on our side. Unfortunately, he's not an actual party member. He's sort of like Teddy, in which he's like a game leader who uses knives and swords. But he does not join us, unfortunately. Oh well, at least he's still going to be helpful to us. But yeah, now that we have cleared the sharks out of town, I think it would be a good idea to uh, go to BH Perkle, the mayor, and tell him about this. I do not have the map with me because I went and gave it to Tracy to storage, just so I could have more uh, space in my inventory, but as if it would actually be difficult for me to find Town Hall. Alright, what do we got in here? We got an empty room, maybe? Oh, we got a receptionist here. Oh, aren't you Ness? Isn't it a school, a school holiday today? Uh, have you done your homework? Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you been wetting your bed? <laughs> okay, very weird question to ask. I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I think it'll just take, I'll just kick back for a while. It may just take me a couple hours to sign this paper. Snicker snort. <laughs> All right then. I always liked that guy. Oh, we got this guy. What do you guys say? There are a lot of snakes uh, and stray dogs around Wynette. Is the mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. Uh, is this a sign by any chance? Aren't you stuck? If you want a hint, come and get it. Eagle and Hint Union. check a -rooney. Uh, we got in here? We got more receptionists. We don't have any openings for part-time employees at this time. I work for City Hall, but somehow Mayor Perkle bugs me. Let's keep this between you and me. Did I tell you I saw a giant ant at one time with giant step? Oh, sorry. I did ant mean to spoil it for you. Pff, I'll forgive you for the pun. Some stu- some stupendous, suspicious looking kids are hanging around the woods north of the library. I wonder if they're members of this- of the sharks. To stop the spread of the gain, someone should shut down the gathering places. Don't you think? I've started a movement that will stop all the bad influences on the children of Wynette. I call it the Fresh Breeze Movement. Humpty Dum Dum! Oh, that was you. Okay, then. So, we know who made all those signs. That's interesting. Now, let's actually go in here and make some actual progress! Uh, no problem here. Since you beat up the sharks, you'll, you're the talk of the town. Mayor Perkle is waiting for you. Alright, we'll be sure to go ahead and talk to him, and we'll hopefully get a reward. Thank you so much for all your help. If you came up here before beating the sharks, then the police officer right here would actually make you uh, go back downstairs. He won't let you talk to the mayor. In the next election, please give the speech supporting Mayor Perkle. Hehehe. <laughs> and they look very similar to each other. Alright. Yep. Mayor Perkle. I think if you talk to him from the side, he has like a weird sprite. But let's talk to him from the front first. Hey, 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 it's Mayor Beach Perkle. 
It's so nice to meet you, kid. You beat up the town bullies, punch them in the, punch them out big time, kick their butts, spit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. Then you force them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What? You want a key to the Torian Entertainer's Shack? For someone as great as you, giving you the key could help the keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Okay. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. Alright, we got ourselves the key to the shack. I think we uh, talked to him from the side. Oh, no he doesn't. Hey, what's your name? I'm so busy with my election that I don't have time to meet with you. Alright then. I could just, I'm thinking of a different character where like, it was a really weird side sprite, but whatever. I'm gonna go back downstairs now that we have the key to the shack. I guess it all worked out in the end because we need the free inventory space to hold it. Alright then, that burger's sacrifice was not in vain in the end. And I didn't mean to walk back in there. Go back out. Alright, now that we have the key to the shack, we could head towards Giant Step, which is supposedly the location of the first sanctuary location. The location of the first sanctuary location. What great wording. Uh, is there anything else that we want to do down here while we're in the area? There is the hospital. It's not really useful to us right now. It's mainly when you have more party members, and if any of them faint, you can go back there to get them revived. Or if you have a status ailment, which again, this hasn't been introduced yet, you could go ahead and get that healed at a hospital, if you don't have the correct item for it. Oh, oh, the road's closed again. It's when it's claim to fame. Oh, jeez, we got all these roadblocks and everything. The road to Tucson is closed. You can't just squeeze through the roadblocks either. One is famous for roadblocks. Don't talk to me. I'm on duty. Until I have Chief Strawn's permission, I can't let you through. Chief Strawn, whoever that is. Okay. Got the one at town sign again. We got this sign right here, whatever it says. I heard there's a guy who stops to read each bulletin to board he encounters. Then he says, Checkeroonie, is that you? Uh. She knows my secrets! Okay, no. So, the Chikaruni thing, like, I knew that was just a little dialogue thing. I don't think there is, actually is a character in the world of Earthbound that says Chikaruni. That would be pretty funny if you actually found him at some point in the game, but... I remember back in Pokemon Fire Red, my first Let's Play, I wanted to actually make an effort to read every single sign in every game I Let's Played, if there was ever a sign that you could read or whatever. And I would always say Chikaruni at the end of it, and I would always, like, just not acknowledge why I was saying Chikaruni. And then it would build up to the Earthbound LP where I would finally, like, show you guys and then this girl would, like, acknowledge it or whatever. And then I would stop doing it. Like, I set up this huge epic joke and everything, but in the first stinking episode of Fire Red, I forgot to read the sign, so it didn't even happen. So, it was just an abandoned joke after that. I was like, well, if I didn't do it at the beginning, but might as well not do it at all. It was pretty funny that, like, I planned to set up this super epic joke for, like, so long, but then it just never happened. Psst, whisper. Whisper, psst, psst. Shh, what if someone overhears us? Right, whisper. Psst, psst, psst. Wah, ha, ha. You jerk. Because. Hehehe. <laughs> Hehehe. <laughs> okay then, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, now that's in care of, I guess we're just gonna go head north, if we could get through all these trees, that is. Uh, here's the pathway. And there's a friendly little mole friend again. He's up and down and up and down. Ah, uh, the land of moles before they turned evil, I guess. Before we had vicious mole friends. No, we just got friendly mole friends right now. What the fruit just happened there? No, that was not just a really cool editing technique. That is another feature that this game has. Not only can you back attack enemies to get the advantage in battle, if you are super powerful and uh, if you're super powerful against a certain enemy that you find on the field, then they're just gonna run away from you on the overworld. So you make it, it makes it very easy for you to back attack them. But if you can most likely defeat the enemy in just one turn, the game is actually going to acknowledge that and it will let you just skip the battle entirely and get the experience and money. It is super awesome and I absolutely love that feature, so it makes uh, level grinding a lot stinking easier. Not that you really want to fight those weaker enemies because they don't give you that much experience to begin with, so uh, it's just cool that they don't become a bother to you anymore once you become above their level, I guess. Uh, only three episodes in and how much we've already grown. And we still got cookies, but we can't carry any of them, so we're just gonna abandon the cookie. Ness abandoned the cookie. Top 10 anime betrayals. All right, whatever. And I like how the sign says don't enter instead of do not enter, just because you can't fit it. I heard there's a big footprint on the hilltop behind this shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. 
This shack was locked by someone in City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes and hotels are too expensive. Traveling Entertainer's Shack. Alright, I'm gonna stop saying checkeroony since my cover's been blown. Yeah, when you examine the don't enter sign, it says do not enter. It's really weird how it's set up like that. The door's locked, so we're gonna have to go into our inventory and use the key to the shack. The door opened. Ta-da! Uh, no problem here. We can't read any of these books. Doesn't seem too torn up. We got a pretty crummy bed and a hole in the wall, but eh, you can make do with this place. It's pretty cool. Now that's taken care of, we now have access to the first real dungeon in the game. 